What's going on, YouTube? I am the one only Antman816, bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! Combos. Uh, today's video is going to be kind of short and quick. And before anyone says, I got this from Galactic God, just so let you know, look at my previous videos, I've done these before. So, we're going to be talking about Utopia. What's so special about Utopia? We're going to be talking about if your opponent summons just a vanilla and some back row, we're going to talk about how you can punch them for 16k. Now this is a turn two. This is is this is more of if you're going second. Because one thing that really stopped this deck is back row, so heavy storm. You want to play that heavy to get rid of your opponent's cards. Or, uh, you know, if you uh, play throughout the game, you know, trap stuns, setting up your field. I'm going to show you the key five cards to get a 16 attack utopia, but uh, heavy storm to get rid of the back row. And let's just pretend they don't. Veiler doesn't exist. All right. So first, you're gonna summon Monk and switch to Defense Monk. You're then gonna pitch Factory. And yes, I'm showing you the cards so you can kind of get a hint at where this is going. This is for next format. So you pitch that Special Magician. You then reveal Shark. Special Shark triggering a Magician to search from the deck. As you see, we still got two cards on hand. Soldier. All right. Now, we make Monk and Magician exceed summon for Utopia. I'll leave that right there. Now, by making Soldier and Shark, and you can do Double Shark, uh, by making them both level 5, you overlay for ZW Leo Arms. Having ZW Leo Arms is pretty good. It's 3,000 meter, but it can't attack directly. You would activate his effect detaching to search out AZW. In this ca case, we're going to show Tornado Bringer. It gives uh, Utopia 1300 attack. So now with three cards in hand, you now take ZW Lightning Blade and Tornado Bringer and equip them to Utopia, making him 5000 attack because they give him a total of 2500. You then go ahead and send the overlay unit from ZW Arms to the graveyard to equip Leo Arms to your Utopia. Doing so now makes Utopia 8,000 attack. Now, I know you guys are like, Ammon 816. If you're about to attack, it's 8,000 attack. How the hell do you get 16,000? Well, at this point in time, you'll enter battle phase. You will activate Utopia to attack your opponent's said monster. Let's say it's Saber Source, Cobble Soul. Uh, insect Knight, whatever. Activate his effect. Detach to negate Utopia's attack. And you're like, wait, I have an 8,000 beater and I just attacked my opponent and I negate the attack. Yes, because the final and sixth card is double or nothing. When a monster, it reads, when a monster's attack is negated, target that monster, so I target Utopia. During the battle phase, it can attack again, and if it does, it attack is doubled during the damage step only. So now, it's 8,000 attack. You attack your opponent. Monster again enters damage step, and it doubles itself to 16,000. And that is how you attack with a 16,000 attack Utopia. I hope you guys like this video. Um, remember to always comment, rate, or comment, like, subscribe. And let me know in the comments down what you guys think of this. Remember, I am the one only Ant-Man 816. There's always a move to make, especially with a 16,000 during damage step only attack Utopia. Later, YouTube.